Well, first and foremost, my role here um, as executive chef is to look after the restaurant, but I'm also in charge of room service, breakfast, banqueting, um, and any other special events that we do here at the hotel. In my kitchen here at Burners Tavern, um, and in the whole hotel, we have 42 chefs. Um, we've got one, the food outlets we have here, we have obviously Burners Tavern, which is the sort of primary focus. Um, then we have the lobby bar, which we do food in. Um, we have a small banqueting space, which we can do sort of 50, 60 covers for banqueting. Um, we have the punch room as well, which we do food in. Um, so we have sort of three outlets uh, that we cater for. Um, the food style here is, is sort of modern, you know, modern British. We, we buy the best produce we can. You know, we, we try and do as little to it as possible, concentrate very much on the flavour, um, you know, keep it simple. We're, we're a sort of big operation here, so we can't be sort of you know, putting food on with tweezers and you know, loads of little micro herbs everywhere. It's just not, not what we do. We're, we're a little bit you know, too busy for that. Uh, the relationship with Jason, or uh, well, between Jason and myself, you know, is built on trust. I've, I've been with Jason now for you know, 10 years. Um, I sort of started with him back in May, so I'm, I very much know what Jason's food style is and what, what he expects from us. Um, that being said, he lets us, or lets me get on with you know, writing the menu. Um, we do tastings with Jason. He'll obviously have the final say on the dish, but you know, he gives us a lot of creative freedom to just run the restaurants and, and produce the food that we, we like cooking. Having that creative freedom for me is essential. Um, it's you know, we're creative people. We, we like to sort of you know, come up with ideas on you know, on the fly. Um, and if we had to sort of you know, run everything past him in minute detail all the time, then you know, that creativity would be sort of stifled, and it you know, it would just be a little less fun. Uh, the biggest challenge in you know running this operation is um, probably keeping all the staff happy, um, you know, and keeping them motivated, keeping them engaged in, in what we're trying to do in, in the restaurant and in the hotel, um, which you know takes up you know a lot of time, but it's also one of the most rewarding things for the part of the job as well. You know, when, when we get those young guys that come in that are, you know, maybe haven't cooked before or haven't. You know, spent much time in the kitchen, and they sort of you see them develop, and you see them sort of grow into sort of talented cooks. You know, it, it makes it very rewarding as well. Ooh, my biggest influence on on my career so far, I mean, it has to be Jason. It's you know, I've been with him for ten years. Um, his drive, his dedication, his you know, just his knack of, of you know creating great restaurants. Um, you know, it's just phenomenal. Um, obviously, you know, I work for the first. Michel Jr. at the Gavroche as well, which was, you know, he was superbly inspiring as a, as a chef. And I learned, you know, that's where I learned how to cook. But then Jason sort of took that knowledge and sort of, you know, elevated it into, into sort of, you know, being a restaurateur stroke businessman. My end goal um, for, you know, 10 years time is, is um, I spent a few years in South Africa. I have a sort of South African partner and, you know, our dream is to go back to South Africa, back to Cape Town, open a little restaurant, little guest house maybe, because um, the, the sort of foodie scene in Cape Town is phenomenal. Um, and yeah, that's, that's where we want to be, in the sun.